I'm Matthew. Take you, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love and to honor you. To love and to honor you. All the days of my life. I, Jessica. Take you, Matthew. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all of the days of my life. It is my honor to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Keene. You may kiss your bride. But whether you're a Phillies fan or a Mets fan, I know one thing. The two of you are each other's biggest fans. Today, as the two of them embark on this journey, as husband and wife, I feel nothing but pride and joy. To see her so happy, to know she's found someone who cherishes her, that's all a father could wish for. So everyone, raise your glass with me as we toast Jessica and Matt. May they enjoy health, love, happiness, endless adventures, and perhaps a few children. <laughs> Cheers! Mom, Dad, you not only taught us a thing or two about love, but you gave all three of us a glimpse into what unconditional loves look like. Not just in marriage, but in the family. You showed us what we have to look forward to in our own lives and in our future relationships, so thank you. Now, Tyra and I didn't have a choice when it came up to growing up with Jess, but Matt, you are choosing to grow old with her, and Harley, of course. So we have nothing else to say except good luck. We cannot wait to watch the two of you start the next chapter in your relationship. Cheers to the bride and groom. We, we love, love you both. both. Go, and go both. Eagles. <laughs> All right.
In closing, Matt, like everything else you do in life, I know you'll give Jess, your marriage, and your family 110%. Some of you may know Matt has a tattoo over his heart. It says, know you are loved in memory of his Aunt Mary, who is undoubtedly watching down on all of us right now with a smile on her face. There are a few absolutes in this world, but one thing is undeniable. You are loved by everyone in this room. I'd like to wish you and Jess a lifetime of health, prosperity, happiness, and a whole lot of heart. I realized then as time passed and I got to see your relationship blossom that that was just showed how much you cared for Jess. That's a big part of it. You were willing, if you've never loved someone much for Jess. And that's, I think Jess, unfortunately, these things are just gonna keep going up and up. They're gonna get grander and grander over time just to be prepared for that. But that's because there's, like I said, there's nobody who has as much deep love for somebody as Matt, I see, and you have together. And it's for good reason. You're unbelievably kind. You're so smart. You're such a faithful, lovely person that you're everything I could have ever imagined my brother marrying when we were younger. So cheers to both of you for a lifetime of love, happiness, and increasingly grand gestures from Matt. Jessica Marie Petrillo, I vow to always love and cherish you, to honor and respect you, and to never stop trying to make you smile. For as long as I am here on this earthly plane, I promise that I will keep trying to show you just how much you mean to me. I will try to continue to show you in the ways that we've cultivated over the course of our relationship. And I'll try to come up with new, funny, and maybe slightly embarrassing for you ways in the future to show you how much I love you. And I know that I will probably never be able to adequately express in a worldly gesture just how much you mean to me and how much I love you. But my, my vow and my promise to you is that as long as I'm breathing, I'm never going to stop trying.